there are three kinds of Taliban in Afghanistan. One is the pure original Taliban that they only fight against uh, United States troops, only. They don't uh, disturb, they don't affect the Afghan military, not engineers, not doctors, not buildings, not roads. They are just doing nothing except to fight against the United States troops, that's all. So the second uh, type of the Taliban, they are like the Afghan military uh, enemy, the American enemy, the doctor enemy. What ju they say is we are only the truth, people, the rest are all the, this, like nonsense. They're killing all uh, government people. If you're a doctor, they will kill you. If you're an engineer, they will kill you. If you're a military, you, they will kill you. So whatever you are, they will kill you. They said you have to be work with us, only with us. They said we are only the one that we are true. The rest is all wrong. Mm -hmm. And the second type of the Taliban, they are thieves. <coughs> they are not Talib. They are just kidnapping, stealing your car, stealing engineers, stealing doctors, and asking for money. Make just business. gave me this much of money. We are Taliban, but they are not Taliban. So they, we count them as a Taliban um, group in thieves section. So the one is original Taliban, the second is uh, like 50-50, against with the uh, fight with everyone, the third one is like uh, the thieves. And what is the Taliban who attack you? What the 50-50. The 50-50? Yes. Okay. Not the original Taliban. When they attacked me, and uh, I was in the car, I was coming from a province, coming to Kabul, so they attacked me. And I was in coma for a long time. Oh, you were in coma? Yes, I lost. How do they pick the target to... They were driving the, the bike, the guy I saw. So we are Afghan military, so we are ignoring uh, whoever is crossing with us. So we say we are Afghans and they are Afghan. We are not telling anyone to go away, to go away. Because we yeah, are all the, point, the same. Yeah. yeah, we are just... We have no any problem. But when United States troops are uh, going, and they will say, no, go, 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 they will make space for themselves. Yeah. But Afghan military, it's normal, because they say, it's in my country and this is my people, why should I have to do that? Yeah. So the motorbike was just coming across our uh, convey, so the, the guy wants to overtake from our car, and he slowed down, and a village was coming closer, closer to the main uh, road, so he was covered with a big scarf, with something like small blanket, so he just took the magnet bomb, attached it with the car, and drove into the village wow. and the car exploded i was in the car oh, sure. and this is the uh things that i have from yeah. the injury this is not the only one here yeah. here yeah. here yeah. my forehead yeah. my shoulder my leg yeah. i have legs i'll show you you see here mm -hmm. my skull my back everywhere I lost something like 0 0.6 to 7 liters of blood. Mm -hmm. And I went to coma for over two days, something like, I don't exactly, because I was in coma. Okay, yeah, of course. And uh, I passed really bad days in my life. Mm. And that's why I left. I didn't left, I, ha I had a very good life. Mm. Have you seen my house, right? Mm, I saw your pic yeah. the pictures. Yeah. Um, How about your house, your, your... My cars. Your car, your... Yes. Uh, the university. city, everything. No, school. In school. Yeah, uh, my dad was only you university, you have yes. university. Yes. Hoy hemos estado en Rizona, ahí explain something about the food. Okay. Eh, hemos, hoy hemos estado en Rizona y hemos, y hemos cargado el coche de un montón de comida que nos aportan los, vamos, que nos, que nos lo dan los militares, porque la gente, las personas que están en el campo de no la, no la quieren, porque le faltan todos los nutrientes esenciales, son comida super, procesada. Comida, comida procesada, es súper básica, y entonces, bueno, eh, lo llevamos el coche cargado para entregarlo en Atenas a la gente que está en la calle y en los squads, que son lugares donde apenas, eh, apenas tienen ayuda por parte de ONG o del gobierno. Entonces, pues a lo mejor no tienen cocina tampoco. Bueno, algunos sí tienen, creo. Sí, algunos, pero otros no. Y, y por lo menos ellos sí aceptan la comida. Pero claro, esta comida que ahora hemos estado tomando con ellos, pues es que no tiene color. Tienen verduras, tienen pan, arroz, 
pollo, berenjena, fruta, todo, una mezcla de, de todo, de así tienen todos los nutrientes esenciales para comer y entonces, claro, todos los días comiendo la, para que la porquería que le aportan los militares, pues al final lo que hacen es tirarla, así que bueno, eh, nos lo llevamos todo, bueno, nos han dado una parte para llevárnoslas a para llevarnos a Atenas y, y bueno, se lo diremos a una serie de grupos que se dedica a distribuir por la calle, si les interesa recogerla.